Hello everyone, welcome to session 8 and the topic is polysaccharides. Uh, in our previous 6th and 7th session we have discussed about disaccharides and monosaccharides and we have also discussed the properties and how uh, two monomers condense to form disaccharide and in today's lecture we will discuss about the polysaccharides. Uh, the we will be discussing uh, with uh, taking examples of starch, cellulose and dextrin. So most carbohydrates found in nature occurs as polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are polymers of uh, medium to high molecular weight. Uh, the polysaccharides are also called as glycans uh, and differ from each other in their identity uh, of their recurring monosaccharide units in lengths of their chains and in the type of the bonds linking the monosaccharide units and in the degree of branching right so these polysaccharides are of two types they can be either homopolysaccharides and uh, they can be heteropolysaccharides homopolysaccharides contain only single monomeric uh, single monomeric uh, they contain single monomeric species uh, they contain single monomeric species like they contain uh, some polysaccharides they contain repeated units of glucose 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 and glucose whereas heteropolysaccharides contain uh, two or more uh, different kinds of monomers they may contain different kinds of uh, uh, monomers to form a polymer unlike proteins polysaccharides generally do not have a defined molecular weight this is because polysaccharides are not synthesized from a template instead there is no specific stopping point for the enzymes involved in the biosynthesis of polysaccharides yeah this is an uh, uh, cartoon of uh, homo homopolysaccharides where you can see similar units 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 monomers of same size shape are attached by glycosidic linkage so they can be unbranched or they can be branched here you can see another linkage so this is one linkage and this is another linkage so this linkage is correct connecting them vertically and this linkage is connecting them horizontally two chains two polymers are connected in two different ways hence we call this as branched homopolysaccharides and when i come to heteropolysaccharides two monomer uh, types unbranched so this is one monomer and this is another monomer this is a monomer and this is b so we are having a b a b so hence this is hence we call it as an heteropolysaccharides because the monomers are different they are not the same they can be either unbranched or they can be branched yeah starch is a storage homopolysaccharide uh, uh, the first example which is made out of a uh, repeated units of D glucose residues so I hope uh, you have got the point uh, homopolysaccharides means same type of monomers are present and they are they the starch consists of two types of polymers called as amylose and amylopectin so amylose is a linear polymer of D glucose uh, D glucose res residues that all are connected via alpha 1 4 linkages as in maltose the molecular weight uh, yeah amylopectin so this is amylose and this is amylopectin is a branched polymer of d glucose residue and uh, uh, the glycosidic linkages between d glucose residues in amylopectin chain are also 1 4 the branch point linkages between d glucose units are however it is 1 6 so now let us see what is 1 4 1 4 and 1 6 yeah this is branching uh, this is the 1 4 linkage so this is your uh, 1 carbon position and this is your 1 2 3 4 so this is the 1 position and this is the 4 position hence we call it as an 1 4 linkage and this is the structure of amylose which is 1 4 linkage and this is the structure of amylopectin uh, amylopectin where we have again we have 1 4 glycosidic linkage here and uh, how this amylose and amylopectin both are interconnected see this is 
uh, one four linkage uh, this this one and this is your uh, one six linkage it is connected here and I can show you uh, this is your one six linkage so this is your one six linkage how amylose uh, in amylose we have both one four one four and one six linkage so this is the structure of cellulose which is another uh, homopolysaccharide which is interconnected by beta one four linkage so this is the beta uh, one four linkage uh, ribbon molecule, ribbon stack water in, insoluble and uh, non reducing. So, this is the structure of uh, uh, cellulose. There is something which is uh, non relevant. Uh, so, cellulose is beta 1 4 uh, glucose ribbon molecule, right? So, here we have the monomers of uh, glucose, uh, but they are connected by beta 1 4 glycosidic linkage uh, yeah this is the theory about uh, some interesting facts and third uh, third polymer is dextrin uh, and it is produced by the hydrolysis of starch so hydrolysis of starch generates dextrins and are mixtures of polymers of d glucose units linked by uh, they are linked by alpha 1 4 are alpha 1 6 glycosidic linkages these are low in molecular weight when produced by heat so with this we will stop about the uh, homopolysaccharides in the next lecture we will be discussing about the heteropolysaccharides thank you thank you one and all